Okay, I want to talk about the uh, Podor T518 uh, that I ordered recently. Um, I got it from a company called W2 Comp uh, that's out of Hong Kong, and I paid $78 for this. Uh, took it about, um, I would say, seven or eight days to make it to the Rochester, New York area. And the reason why I wanted to make a video about this is because I'm planning to use this device um, in my church. Um, I usually use a laptop to display the eSword Bible program and we use it to uh, show the scriptures to our uh, deaf church members. Um, but it's kind of a pain to use the laptop. It's slow, it's heavy and clunky. I don't want to carry it around every time I go to church. And the laptop tends to take about 3 minutes and 15 seconds to boot up and launch eSword. And this little guy here takes about 1 minute and 15 seconds. So it's a good 2 minutes faster to get it up and running. And you don't have to take it out and, and set it up every time. You just put it in the back of the TV and leave it there. Um, now, basically what this is, is it's an entire Android device, uh, you know, without a screen or battery or buttons or anything like that. Um, it uses your TV as a screen. And you can set it up any way you want. And I've already kind of set it up the way I want and you can see the kind of things that it comes with. It comes with some cables. Um, this was actually the power cable it came with, but it, that power cable is a little too short for me, so I'm right now using the power cable uh, from my phone. Um, and this is an extension cable if you can't get um, the device to just plug into the back of your TV. I didn't need that. Um, there's this little dongle adapter um, if you want to put a USB stick in this and just transfer some files over. Um, here's the cap that went on over the end here. But basically all you have to do is plug this HDMI uh, connector into the TV and then plug the plug into your outlet. And when it boots up you can then use this mouse, well, if you have a wireless mouse, to control it or, or whatever you want. There's different things you can buy to control it. Um, to get the wireless mouse to work, I had to add this little dongle here on the end uh, to be able to communicate with the with the mouse. So I'm going to put this on the TV and show you how it works. Okay, so <clears throat> let me show you how I've got this in the TV here. I just came over around to the side where I have a spare uh, HDMI port. And as you can see, I've got it. Uh, stuck there in the side of the TV. The little red Wi-Fi antenna is out and everything's on there the way it's supposed to be. So all I have to do now is just plug it in and that'll start the boot process. So it will now start booting. There's the boot screen. Portal T518. And I would say that it takes about 50 seconds maybe to get booted up to where I need to be. Now I have customized this to what I need. I've loaded the Apex Launcher and I've simplified the desktop, gotten rid of widgets and icons and things. This thing came with stock because, you know, in the church environment, I don't want. This to have a lot of complexity to it. I want it to be really simple looking. Basically all I want is the one app to launch the Bible, which is the one app that you see there in the middle of the screen. And this little control panel down here to do things like back and home and uh, multiple apps, volume up and down, power, and then this actually can hide the, uh, the little bar there if you want to. But let's launch the Bible, uh, the Bible app. Just click on that. And you can see what it looks like when it comes up. Um, I really like how this looks. I've got the font set really big. Um, so it's easy to read from a distance. And if I double click, I can get rid of all the little menus and make it really simple looking. Um, you can just use the mouse to scroll around or whatever device you have. And I can use the scroller on the mouse to scroll down through verses. And if I double click, I can go to the verse chooser 
and pick different books whatever I want to pick and I can just um, scroll to whatever I want and it's kinda neat you can highlight a verse if you want to um, you can highlight words if you want to let's see I'll do that there we go and basically you can just you know move around from verse to verse let's go to a different one here there we go and uh, I think this is going to work out really well so basically for 78 bucks I was able to convert a non-smart TV into basically an Android controlled TV that has the Bible on it and it looks really nice and when I'm not in the Bible program um, I can uh, be here at the home screen it's real simple looking now the way I've, I've got this set up is I don't even have you know a, a button to get into the apps you know of course it does have an app drawer but I have no shortcut to it I can add one just to show you what it looks like and again, I'm using the Apex Launcher here. Um, but uh, actually, I'm not even going to do that, but you can just imagine, you know, if I put a, you know, an icon on here, um, you know, I can get to the app drawer. Right, here we go. Here's one. And from there, I can just launch into the app drawer. And I've, I've hidden a lot of stuff just to simplify this, but you know you can add whatever apps you want through the Play Store and I think another good idea for church um, is to uh, go down into the settings and turn off stuff like uh, notifications for example you know when you come into your settings you can click on the little settings guy and turn notifications off so you don't have stuff popping up all the time Maybe turn airplane mode on and turn Wi-Fi off and whatever you can do so that, you know, your church service isn't interrupted by, you know, anything popping up or down. But that's about it. So here I go. I've got kind of a customized um, computer -y interface for the Bible, converting a regular TV into uh, a smart TV. And uh, anyway, I'm pretty happy about it. So that's it.